What's up developers, I'm that one Unity dev, and today I'll be walking you through how to create health bars in Unity. For the last video, I created a poll asking viewers what UI example they wanted to see. Although the result was mostly on the tab based system, quite a few of you on Discord really wanted to see how to make health bars. Speaking of the previous video, I had a short segment talking about what UI is and some basic design philosophy, so if you missed it, make sure to check out that video to get up to speed before diving into this one. Moving on, a health bar is a common UI element found in many games, and although they come in many shapes and sizes, they serve as a visual representation of a minimum and maximum value. So without further ado, let's hop over to Unity and start actually making a health bar. In an empty project, the first thing you're going to need is a canvas. I set mine to screen space camera, drag in the camera, and set the reference resolution to 1920 by 1080. As a side note, make sure your game window is also set to the proper resolution as it might not look right. There are a few different ways to implement a health bar, but the most common method is to use the UI slider component. The quickest way to get a working slider in our game is to right click UI slider. Immediately you will notice you now have a slider object with a bunch of children objects below it. Although Unity's default slider might look like the perfect health bar, the default options are not quite set up to be a health bar just yet. We first need to uncheck the interactable checkbox in the slider component and turn off the handle sprite. This makes it so we can no longer interact with the health bar at runtime. Next, we can change some values on the health bar to better suit our purposes. We will be editing these later, but for debugging, it would be a better idea to change it to something that fits your project. For the minimum, I use 0, and for the maximum, I use 100. Now, when we change the value, you can see the health bar fills and empties accordingly. But if your slider is like mine and is off just a little bit, you can change this value to 5 on your fill area. That's pretty much it for the slider component. You can position it wherever you want it to appear on screen, and customize the appearance of the slider by changing its color, size, and background image. When I was happy with my health bar, I went ahead and created a new health bar script on my canvas. Hopping over to Visual Studios, you can see that I created a very simple script. As a general note, typically the code in this script is put into the player stats or something similar. Anyways, as you can see, I just created a public slider variable, assigned some values for the minimum and maximum health, and in the update function, ensure that the values of the slider is equal to the current health. Back in Unity, I go ahead and drag the slider into the script. And when I hit play, you will see that the slider is now associated with the variables I made in the script. And that's pretty much all there is to health bars. You can change the color of the sprite when it gets low or even use the same process on a world canvas for enemies. With that being said, I really hope you enjoyed today's video and maybe even learned a thing or two. If you're new to the channel and want to talk to like-minded developers, you can always join the Discord where we talk, showcase our work, and even come up with video ideas like this one. Speaking of, we recently just hit a thousand subscribers, and I'm so grateful to each and every one of you, and wouldn't be here talking to you now if you hadn't hit that button. So, thank you. But that's all the time we have for this video. Thanks for watching and staying until the end. Bye!